and this will uh, probably be one of the stranger um, videos that I make. Um, as you know, I'm moving, and um, when you when you move, you occasionally find yourself reminiscing. And um, we moved the safe the other day. Uh, there's nothing real financially valuable in there, but there's, it's a it's, it's more a fire safe than a safety safe. Um, and these are my dad's medals from the Second World War. Seems sort of like appropriate, really. Um, just had Armistice Day, Remembrance Sunday, uh, last week. Um, yeah, I wore a poppy, and I wear a poppy for everybody. No matter really what side they're on, who who are mainly children who are sent to war by politicians who wouldn't even stick their head above the parapet. And yes, some wars I, I think you you can't deny are are necessary. And I think what we saw happen in Nazi Germany in the Second World War was just so so grotesque. So these are his medals and, and these are the little envelopes that, that they come in and this is the, the box. I've got gloves on because I don't think anyone's ever actually touched them. They're a bit tarnished or whatever but I don't think they've ever been actually touched until now. This is where they was, um, oops, <laughs> well they have been touched now, just dropped the box on them. Um, but from the um, RAF Personal Management Centre in Gloucester and um, I'll cover that up because they, my mum still lives at that address, um, so I'll cover that up. But that's where it was sent. Um, and he he didn't actually claim his medals after the war. In fact, it was only I think in the seventies, nineteen seventies, that he actually decided that he wanted them. So I applied for them, sent off, and uh, I think that says seventy three, nineteen seventy three. July 1973 and um, and I found these and I started thinking that the awful awful events of, of last night in Paris where there's uh, I think at least 130 dead and, and so many injured It's different. It's a different kind of warfare we're engaged in now, and and I think we've, in a way, we've forgotten what warfare really was about because we've now got technology and we've now got the ability to conduct warfare in so many different ways. And I think while important to remember those who fought and lost their lives, and and those who fought, and I mean, my my dad only died twenty odd years ago, but. Um, now more than ever we should be looking at ways of, of avoiding conflict rather than fueling it and and while divided people will always fight each other without fighting the core and the core cause is and I'm sorry to say this but it's capitalism it is about greed it is about the richer becoming richer and global politics is very much about fat people telling thin people to tighten their belt it's Ian, a friend of mine, who told me that. And, um, and maybe it's time we revisited what this world should be about. Anyway, the, the point of getting these out really was um, I'm going to try and get them mounted in a nice kind of like little presentation frame and give them to my nephew, Zach, for, I don't know, for either Christmas or his birthday or something like that, at some point when it matters um, and if he ever gets married um, I think I'll probably also give him my dad's wedding ring um, and we shouldn't forget but we should learn to forgive and we should learn that 
whoever carried out these atrocities in Paris last night, they've been brainwashed, they've been manipulated. They've, they've been controlled in such a way to do that by people who would never ever do that in exactly the same way as our politicians send children out to die. And it's those people, it's those people who are evil and they're the ones, they're the ones that we should be targeting. Blaming soldiers for doing what they do is like punching your postman for delivering bills. That's an old saying that I've been using for years and years and years. And it remains just as true today after those horrific acts in Paris yesterday as it's ever been. Blame those in, in the position to control what young men believe and what young men do. And it's about time that we actually said no. Enough. Anyway, that's it for today. <laughs>